Good morning, Snake River Opportunities High School. Um, this is Mr. Corgitelli, and I want to show you a little bit about your student dashboard. As you can see on my screen, um, this is what they look like now. We have a place here uh, that shows if you're active and that you have access to your funding. Um, I've determined that based on your completion rates. Um, in addition, then there's a place next to it that says advanced opportunity form is current and yours will say true or false. That's usually if you are using advanced opportunities funds to pay for your IDLA class or for um, some dual credit courses. Your EDU ID is your state ID number. In this case, I put Mr. Baker as the mentor and then you would have your graduation rate. But what's new and helpful for you is you have the budget information here. So if you click on that link, you should be able to pull up um, the FAQ on stuff about our uh, budget information. You can just scroll through and see information um, that might help you make decisions. To uh, use your learning budget, you click on the uh, purple link and it will go through the process of filling up the form. Most of the time, you know that it's um, reimbursements, not paying advance. Of course, if you are paying for something through Amazon, we will probably do that one rather than having you purchase. So you might want to reach out to me first before purchasing things. Um, this is something you might not know of. Oh, this part right here um, where it says personal learning budget keeps track of your expenses. So if, for example, today is the day when most of you will get an additional $400 into your budget because it's payment day and you're at your 20, between 22 and 25%. So that would be a $400 deposit, um, disbursement three, that can spell. And then um, if you purchase something, I'd go ahead and take it out of here. So for example, if you're using Actively Learn as a um, learning tool, we take it out. Something you may not know about is if you are um, earning badges in your courses, I go here. We put in programs here if you're using advanced opportunities funds. And then finally underneath is the Panther coins list. So for example, many of you have earned for posting on band some Panther coins for what reason or not. Um, but when you want to use, it'll keep the balance underneath on the bottom of the page. And if you want to use them, you click on this link right here. Panther coins can be used. Um, you'll put your first name, last name, and these are the items that are available. Google Play cards, um, Apple cards, and Amazon cards. And basically you have to know how many is your balance. So over here I'd say I've got 300. Uh, coins for whatever reason and if you go down here it will tell you what are you purchasing with your panther coins you will receive the order when the balance is verified against your student dashboard so you have to look back at your dashboard if you have 225 you can get a five dollar card up to 600 for th uh, three five dollar cards or you can get a 25 dollar gift apple card for a thousand points 25 dollar uh, google play card um, for a thousand points so you simply submit and it'll come to me and i will reach out to you to find out how to pay that off if you have additional questions about panther coins, your dashboards, how to re seek reimbursements, you can reach out to me. Thanks.